They're like, guys, I want to talk to you about Mike Babcock and what he's going to do. And also Jeff Flasho, who is definitely the heir apparent if Mike Babcock leaves Detroit. And compare them. Uh, I was looking at Mike Babcock's record with uh, Cincinnati Mighty Ducks. And in his two-year stint with the Cincinnati Mighty Ducks, they lost in round one, and they also lost in the qualifying round. Um, in the two in the three years of Jeff Brashill, with the Grand Rapids Griffins, who were the Red Wings AHL affiliate. The Grand Rapids Griffins have only lost one playoff series. Right now, they are 6-1 and one in the playoffs, and last night, they clinched to move on to the Western Conference Finals. So, uh, there you have it. Blasio hasn't, he's only lost once, and he's won the Calder Cup in his first year as coach. As coach. Uh, Hockey-wise, I think Babcock's gone. Situation-wise, I think Babcock stays. He has a great situation. He's comfortable in Detroit. He has a great relationship with Holland, and he has a great relationship with the Illich family, and his family loves Detroit. He loves the area, and uh, he loves his situation in Detroit. Also... He said he was really interested in seeing Dylan Larkin, the Detroit Red Wings 2014 first round draft pick in the World Championships. And I think Dylan Larkin might have tipped the skill in persuading Babcock to stay. Now, right now, we do know that uh, the San Jose Sharks, St. Louis Blues, Toronto Maple Leafs, and Buffalo Sabres have all filed the permission slip to uh, speak to Babcock and give up a third round pick in either 2016 or 2017 for Babcock as compensation if he leaves the Red Wings. Um, so there you have it. There's, I Personally, I think he stays. I watched the interview. He, him and Holland gave an interview sitting side by side with each other during the World Championships on TSM. They gave it Dan Dreger did the interview, and uh, they were talking about the Cup future in Detroit and his future in Detroit and Holland's future in Detroit. And it sounded like he was staying, so there you have it. But either way, Detroit's going to be fine. Jeff Brasho is a very capable coach, and whoever gets Brasho will be lucky to have him too. So, there. Thanks.